Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to talk about on how to create a simple calculator using uh, C++ and in this video we're going to use the if statement to, to build it. So let's get started. So you guys probably know that a basic calculator basically take there is a way, there is a lot of ways to do this but we will use the most basic example that I can think of which is two numbers and some operation okay some arithmetic operation so let's start by creating the variables that we're gonna use we're gonna use integers for the sake of this video but you guys could use floats or doubles if you want to okay uh, let's create two variables called num num1 and num2 actually three variables okay num1 num2 and result okay result I was typing in Portuguese uh, so uh, let's come back here for for a moment for a moment so we have these uh, three um, variables. We're gonna read uh, two numbers the, in the result, but we also need an, a variable to store the operation that we're going to perform. So the operation will be, will be stored in a char variable. So let's get called op for operation. Okay. So we're gonna read number one. We're gonna read the operation. And we're gonna need, need read the second number. So let's start by saying uh, enter enter the first number let's add a new line let's read num1 okay let's read num1 okay that's good uh, let's now read the operation enter the operation and I'm gonna display some of the operations are available so the user can know what exactly the operation are supported okay because some people would type x to multiply, but they actually uh, an asterisk, asterisk to do so. Uh, so let's read the op into uh, operation to the op variable. Let's read the second number. Enter the enter the second number. Uh, second number. Okay. Let's add a new line here. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna read this. Okay. I need to come back here. We need we we'll read this to this to the known to um, variable. So there you go. But now we need to come back with the operation. So depending on the operation, okay, the op variable will do different um, operations. So we, we in this example you use the if statement, but in the next video I'm gonna show you how guys how to use with the switch statement. So the first operation we're gonna do is uh, addiction. Okay, we, we're gonna add two numbers. So we could say if op is equal equals um, plus, the, the char plus, we could do uh, result equal uh, no one plus done two. Okay, something like this. So you guys can see that this is very straightforward. Uh, if op equals plus, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see it more clearly. Uh, okay. We're gonna need a add a else if here else if op equal equals uh, minus we do result equals down one minus none two and again else if the third operation is uh, division so uh, if this result um, am I missing something here? Okay, uh, result equals num1 divided by num2. And then we're going to add another else if statement. It is going to be the last one, which is times uh, if op equals asterisk num1 times num2. Okay, so there we go. And finally, we could print all the, the variables all together. So Let's print num1 op num2 and let's put an equal sign here. Give a space, result, result, and add a new line to end this. Okay. So you guys can see, let, let me just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see that we have this code. It's, it's not that good. It's actually that, that large. Um, you guys can see that uh, the code is very straightforward. Um, so let's do some. Uh, let's execute. Let's t t try it out. Yeah, I see. So we have a an error here. 
res so I forgot to put a U here. Okay, let's execute again. Yeah, <laughs> result. Yeah, but it's still buggy though. Uh, let's execute again. Uh, okay, there you go. So let's say I'm gonna type six. We need to press enter, uh, plus enter and three enter. So you guys can see six plus three is equals nine. Uh, we could do. We need to execute over and over again to 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 get access to the program. But you guys could just uh, run this inside of a while loop. So let's say eight divided by three will give me two because this is our this is um. Uh, this is actually a float, an actual integer variable. So let's say six uh, times uh, fifty-six is equals three hundred thirty-six. You guys can see here. So there you go, guys. Um, this was the video. Hope you guys enjoy. You guys could make a modification, as I said before, to put this uh, all this code inside inside of a while loop. Okay, you guys could read a. Um, a sentinel variable and do something with it okay so again guys uh, thank you guys for watching this see you guys next time